Hello all, welcome back. This is going to be a video which shows how you can configure your time and date using time date CTL command, date command, and how you can modify your hardware clock by using HW clock command. Without wasting much of your time, let's begin. So, first one is time date CTL. So if you just type time date CTL, it will tell you your local time, UTC, RTC, and your time zone. Then whether your system clock is synchronized with hardware clock, whether network time protocol is enabled, whether your RTC is in local configuration. So in order to change your time, you can use time date CTL command as root user or you can use sudo command. So sudo time date CTL set dash time and you have to specify your time and should be in hours then minutes followed by seconds so if you do that it will change your time so you can set like 16 if you do that it will change the system time for me it will not change right now because i have enabled the network time protocol i will show you how to enable ntp and disable ntp so in order to disable your network time protocol you can use sudo time date ctl set dash ntp equals no and you enter your super user password so if you type time date ctl again you will see network time protocol service is inactive so before it was active now i will show you how to change your time set time so 16 57 zero, 00 if i do that you can see my time just changed so if you want to disable like go back you can change so this one is in hours this is minutes and this is seconds the next thing is um when it comes to date and time you can modify your time zone so for changing your time zone or for setting your time zone you can use sudo system uh, time date ctl i'm sorry set dash time zone and you have to specify your time zone So if you don't know your time zone, sudo time date ctl list dash time zones and you can use the pipe symbol and you can use grep and you can specify your continent. So for me, I'm in Asia, so I'm going to type Asia. So you have to be very careful over here because the first character will always be caps so you have to be careful about that then you hit enter so it will give you options about timelines so it'll give you multiple timelines so you can choose like if you are in um i'm in india and the closest one i'm having is kolkata so i can use sudo time date ctl okay let me clear the screen so do time date ctl set dash time zone space asia slash kolkata so if you look closely the first one that represents your continent and the second one that represents your timeline 
both will start with capital letter and the rest ones are like small letters uppercase and lowercase the first ones are always uppercase and the last ones like the rest is lowercase again here the first one is uppercase and the rest is lowercase if you do that it will change your time zone if you want to enable ntp you can use sudo system no i'm sorry again time date ctl set dash ntp yes you can use yes true any boolean values it will work so if you enable ntp or the network time protocol what happens is your system will automatically fetch the time from the ntp servers and set the time in your system accordingly so you don't need to set your time manually if you have enabled it so if you enable ntp a daemon ntp daemon will be running in the background so you have to be aware of that and the next one is date command so if you just enter date you're going to see the current date so uh, today is like friday march 5th and you are going to see like the time 5 0, zero 50 seconds ist and 2021 so ist is indian time zone if you want to see the date in utc you can see like you can use date dash dash utc it will give you the time and you can specify like if you want to know some parts of the date like if you want to know like what year it is for example date then you can specify your argument like plus in quotes you can specify like if you want you can get some other order if you want like if you want year to be displayed first you can use percentage y capital y and you can give a small minus then percentage m small m for a month then you can see like uh, percentage d for date let's give like hour and minutes i'm going to give a colon then percentage capital m and i'm going to close the double quote so now i will see the date in this order year month day and time in hour and minutes so by one seconds i can also specify that so if you just use date normally you will not see that you will see a representation like this so if you want to see in custom format you can also do that in order for you to change your date you can use date space um you need to be super user so sudo you have to specify your year first followed by your month followed by your date using the like if you have like incorrect time in your bios or your system time you can use the hw clock command to adjust your time so in your bios proper time in your bios and you want to set that to your system you can do it vice versa so first one is hw clock so if you do, you need to be having super user privileges so it will give you details about your hardware clock so if you want to set your date and time you can use sudo hw clock dash dash set dash dash date and in colon you can specify the date first so inside here the date will be represented like 0 5 that is today's date followed by 
March then 2021 specified by the time 17 colon 05 you can do that if you want to set the UTC you need to specify dash dash UTC flag if you don't want UTC you can specify to this one so it will set your hardware time so if you want to specify your hardware clock to your system no from your system to your hardware clock you can use sudo let me clear the screen first sudo hw clock and dash dash sys to hc so if you do that it will synchronize your system time to your hardware clock what time you are having inside your present linux machine it will be synchronized and set as same to your hardware clock if you do that if you want to do it vice versa you can do hc to sys hardware clock to system hc to sys If you're having dual boot configurations you need to set your configurations to local time so in order to do that you can use hw clock so sys to hc or else you will be having like incorrect time in one of your dual boot operating system so for example if you are having like if you are running windows plus linux dual booted if you didn't set your time to local time you are going to have issues with your time with either one of the operating system so it's a good practice to set to local time so that's it i hope you all have a wonderful day